Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Maro's in the background, in the tub. Can you see him? <laughs> He's just been sitting in there and Luna's rummaging around in my luggage. I just got back from Tokyo. It's already like the evening. I didn't do a daily vlog today because I'm going to open up my secret Santa gift. My friends arranged a secret Santa this year. Um, so we decided to all open them in today's vlog. And I've also got some mail from you guys to open that I just picked up from my agency while I was in Tokyo. So thank you so much to everybody who sent me letters and I'm really, really excited to open these. So let's get started. I think I will start with my secret Santa because <laughs> Tof, Tof is the person who gave it to me. He handed this to me when we hung out at the Ghibli Museum the other day, but I've been dying to open it and I had to wait until now. So let's do it. So first I'll show you the bag in case you didn't see it in my vlog, but it's got the cutest little cat card on it. Look at how cute that is. Oh my god. Aww. Oh, he said everything he bought is Pokemon. Yes, that's always a good thing. Oh my god, and he gave a hint as to what one of them is. Yes, I'm so excited. Where did you get it? Aww, if you follow me and Tom's videos pretty closely, you might have noticed that I've been trying to get the adult Pokemon coloring book. This book, oh my god, and it's been sold out everywhere. Where did he manage to get it? Oh, this is so pretty. It's so detailed. I guess that's what adult coloring is. This is gonna be so much fun, guys. To give you some like examples of Oh, look at how pretty it is. So yeah, like I said, I'm not sure exactly where you can get this. I'll see if I can find it online anywhere for you guys if you're interested in getting one. It's, it was originally sold at the Pokemon Center, but every time I tried to get one or Tove tried to get one for me, they were sold out. Or maybe they weren't. Maybe it was a lie and he got one. <laughs> Either way, I know they're really difficult to get because they sold out super fast as soon as they were released. Oh, this is so awesome. Look how pretty those are. Thank you so much, Tove. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do some of this tonight for sure. There's still something in here because it's pretty heavy. Aw, he got me a pencil crayons. Oh, that's perfect. There's so many things. Oh my god, it's the Aloha Raichu. This is so freaking useful. Oh my god, it's like you know me so well. Okay, so this is a clip that you clip onto your bag. It's like a little hair clip style clip. And then it's got a chain and a, another clip attached to it. And you put your house key on here. So you clip this on your bag and then you always know where your house key is. You can just pull out the chain like this. That is so freaking useful. I am always digging through my bag, looking for my house keys. And I know he made me something because when he gave it to me, he said, be careful because there's something handmade in here. What is this? Oh my God, it's a shiny Raichu. You cut up a shiny Raichu. I mean a holographic Raichu. Everyone gets mad when I call it a shiny, but that's what I've always called them. And I'm just sticking with that. He made a Christmas ornament. Focus camera. He made a Christmas ornament out of a shiny Raichu card. This is the Christmas ornament of my dreams. That is so creative. Oh my God, I wanna to make tons of these and put them on my tree. That would be the coolest tree ever. Thank you, Tope. This must have taken you forever to make. And there was something else in here. So many things. It's a Mothra. What? I've never seen this one. He definitely got this from Nakano Broadway. I feel like this must have been a gotcha that I missed and I'm super happy that he found this. Dude, this is so cool. It's from Shin Gojira, so it's a newer gacha. What? They have all these? No way. How have I never seen this? Oh my god, I'm so happy you found the Mothra. So these are all the different keychains that you can get. Lots of old school Godzilla characters, as well as the Shin Gojira at the top. Oh, that's so cool. Look at it. I'm gonna put this on my house keys and then attach it to my Aloha Raichu keychain. Thank you, Toe, for a really thoughtful gift. These are all things that I absolutely love and can use and I can't wait to start the coloring book. I'm doing that tonight. 
I'm starting as soon as I finish this video. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you guys don't know who Tope is, I will link his channel down below. He's one of my really good friends and I really love him. He's an awesome person and I think you would really enjoy his videos. He talks about uh, lots of Pokemon stuff because he loves Pokemon. Um, some personal videos related to his life and he's been doing vlogs recently which I absolutely love because he's lots of fun to listen to and yeah, I think you guys will love him. He streams on uh, Twitch as well. He plays video games so. I'll link all that down below, so please go check him out. And I will also link everybody else who was involved in the Secret Santa exchange, so if you guys want to go to everyone's channel, they should have their vlogs up sometime today, so you can go and check what they got in them. I'm excited because I don't know either. I know what I got my Secret Santa, and that's about it, actually, so I'm excited to watch everyone else's videos. All right, so I'm gonna open the mail that you guys sent to me. I was so like pleasantly surprised when I went to my agency and there was a little pile of mail for me there already. Like I, I just told you guys about my new mailing address recently so I did not expect this. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna start with this one from Hungary, Budapest in Hungary. Oh neat, I love looking at different stamps. Some Hungarian stamps here. It's really interesting. I keep all your envelopes as well <laughs> as the letters because I really like the stamps. <gasps> she sent me tea. All Natura Chai. That smells amazing. That smells a lot like cloves, I think, is the scent I'm smelling, which makes it a lot different than the chai that I'm drinking now. So I can't wait to try that one. I love trying different chais. They're all really different depending on the spice mix and like the amount of each spice that they use. And this one is English Tea Shop Chocolate Rooibos and Vanilla. Oh my god, I can't smell this one, darn. I'm gonna try it soon though. Thank you so much, I absolutely love trying new teas. It's so exciting for me to get ones to try. Aww, and this is the card she sent me. I used to have pet bunnies. This actually, these both look like my, different coloring, um, but I had a dwarf bunny which looked a lot like this one and I had several lop ears, which this type of bunny is, so that's so cute. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, sending love all the way from Hungary. Thank you so much, Sonia. I hope I'm reading your name right. That's really sweet of you. Next is a letter from Mandy in Germany. She's going on her first trip to Japan in March of next year. That's exciting, that's only in three months. I bet you're super excited. Aww. Thank you so much, Mandy. That's really sweet of you. Oh, I hope you have a really amazing time here in March. Hopefully you got lots of ideas from my videos of places that you might want to visit while you're here and foods you might want to eat. Luna. Next is a larger package from Amanda in America. It's in a folder. Aww. Oh, she said she drew a portrait of me. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too. Okay, let's look at your picture. It's super good. What do you mean it's not good? Oh, this is so cute. I love my glasses. Oh, that's super adorable. Where are my glasses? I need to put my glasses on. I haven't worn them all week and I don't know where they went. I'll just pretend I'm wearing my glasses right now. This is super cute. Thank you so much, Amanda. The shading is gorgeous. I'm always so jealous of people that can shade when they color because I certainly can't. This is from Sarah and she also lives in Japan. Aww, that's so cute. Oh, do you live in Shimane, Ken? She does. This is a souvenir of chocolate cookies from her prefecture of Shimane, Ken. I swear I've been there before and I remember seeing the cat mascot and I was freaking out at how cute it is. Oh, and a keychain. A little key holder of the same cat. The name of this character is Shimaneko. Oh my God, what a cute card. Thank you so much, Sarah. That's really sweet. Ah, this one's from Megan. <laughs> this one's from my friend Megan in Canada. I didn't even notice that when I picked them up. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> she sent me a letter on Twitter saying that she tried to send me a tea bag, like one tea bag, 
but the post office was trying to charge her like over ten dollars to send this card with one tea bag in it and when she took it out it was only like a dollar something or whatever it costs to send like a card to japan so she took it out <laughs> oh my god thank you so much megan yes i'll see you soon i definitely want to hang out in canada look at the card that is so cute why aren't the sparkles showing they're the best part Okay, and this little package here was left for me with Kim, and I was just at Kim's house yesterday, so she left this for me before she went to Korea. Aww! Oh my god, it's a bag cat! I didn't know you could get these. Oh, it's from an Etsy shop! Someone made this? It looks like it's an iron-on, like, embroidery transfer for clothes or a bag or something. I'm totally gonna put this on a tote bag. That's gonna be so cute. This is the Etsy shop, in case anybody is interested. And what's this? It's a pin. What's your favorite scary movie? This is awesome! This is super cute. I love pins for my backpack. I don't know who this is from. There's no card or name on the package, so thank you so much to whoever sent this to me. I wish I knew who you were so I could thank you, but I really appreciate that. These are super cute, and I'm definitely going to put this one on a tote bag and this one on my backpack with my other pins. Oh, and I just opened a letter from my sister a couple minutes ago, and it had this inside, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. She made me a Perler bead Magikarp. It's a magnet, so it's going to go on my fridge. Thank you! Keyboard son laughed a lot when he finally figured out what it was. It took him a second. <laughs> and I also got a pretty sweet haul of YouTube year-end presents from Dave. Thank you so much, Dave. First of all, this really handy sports bag. This is so nice for when I was in Tokyo. It has a pocket at the front here so I could put my Pasmo in here and it was really easy to access. And it's just a really handy shape to carry on my shoulder and it's super cute. I love it. So that's really awesome to have. I'm super excited. And then it was filled with YouTube clothing and accessories and stickers. It was so fun to open. Okay, this sweater I'm wearing right now is actually a YouTube shirt. You can't tell because it's basically just plain gray, but at the bottom, it has the play button embroidered logo there. I really like how simple it is. It's nice. And I haven't opened these yet, but there are two t-shirts. How oh, cute! It's got a play button on the back and the logo on the front. These are such good quality. This feels so thick and warm. Luna's watching me. Luna, are you watching? And then there were two really cute YouTube notebooks. I gave one to Bronwyn. These are so handy for writing down like video ideas, and planning out my schedule and stuff. Lots of stickers for my laptop, etc. I'm going to be getting a new laptop soon. I, I need to because my current computer is packing it in. It, it really sucks. So <laughs> it's nice to have some fresh stickers to put on it. I'm looking forward to redecorating it. And then lots of these. These are really cool. I think I'm going to send some of these to you guys. When I do my Christmas giveaway, I'll throw them into each of the packages because they're super handy. I don't know if you guys like these, but I saw Jenna Marbles is selling them. Uh, her own line of them, but they're like you stick them to the back of your phone They've got a sticky thing on the back and then they pop up and you can like lock your fingers Like this so that it's really easy to hold your phone and you don't need to wrap your hand around it You can just lock your fingers in it like this and hold your phone like that and then I got these <laughs> bracelets I am a youtuber. I don't know how to use this exactly, but it's a pen with like a stretchy magnetic band and that is it i also got this really nice red uh youtube snapback but i gave that to laura because it looked really cute on her and those are all the things that i got recently so thank you so much to everybody who gave me something i really appreciate it a lot so thank you all right that's the end of today's vlogmas sorry it's such a like chill <laughs> video i could not do anything today i did not want to go out and vlog or like there was no point in vlogging at home because I was literally just sleeping until past noon. <laughs> okay, so yesterday was crazy. If you watched my uh, Boninkai video, 
yesterday's vlogmas. I, I ended it like with nothing <laughs> because after eating that spicy food, I just my mouth was burning. And I'm not I'm not super sensitive to spicy food. I can handle it. I don't really enjoy it. I like medium spice. When I order something, I like medium spice is great. It's just perfect. I won't get the higher up spice stuff just because I don't enjoy it. But like that was so painful. <laughs> I can't even explain it. I don't know what it was made out of. All I know is it had like habanero oil or something in it plus other things of fire and it really sucked. <laughs> but we were having a lot of fun feeding it to each other and Martina was insane and she just when you saw the picture of that bowl there were no noodles or vegetables left in the soup because Martina ate them all. She had a sample of it to eat. We had like scooped up a little bowl of it for her to try and this random customer next to her like took the this oil that was sitting on the counter and poured it in like when she wasn't looking I guess and made it like even that much spicier so when she tried that it was even worse than the one I had so she took the bowl of the one I had and just started eating it like normal she's like oh no this is so much better <laughs> anyway she's insane because that was crazy I swear that even people that can eat super spicy stuff would have had that and just like died because <laughs> I can't explain the level of spiciness. I've tried some pretty spicy stuff in Korea and this like didn't even come close to that. It was so crazy. So yeah, afterwards you guys were assuming that like I got really drunk. That's why I stopped vlogging, but I don't drink very much. I only had a few drinks. So it wasn't that, but me and Bronwyn rushed to catch the last train. We waited to get a taxi outside of the bar and the taxi was so slow and it, it finally came and we got in the taxi and we had six minutes to for it to drive us to the station to catch the last train back to her place. And the guy, like, I don't know why he was so confused. It was such an easy request. We asked him to drive us to Meguro Station, but he looked really confused. And then he tried to find Meguro Station on the Navi, the GPS, and he couldn't find it. So then I guess he just started driving, but he kept going the wrong way. So we had to turn the car around, like, I swear at least three times. And it wasn't even a far drive. It was probably, it was supposed to be a six minute drive, but it took him about 11 minutes. And we ran to get into the station to catch the train on time. But when we got down there, the train was delayed. So it like, it didn't even matter that we were late to catch it because it was delayed a lot. And we had to wait for it for about 20 extra minutes. And then it finally showed up and it was so packed. Anyways, we made it back to the station where we transferred to get the next train to Bronwyn's house. But we had already missed that because that first train was so late that we couldn't get the one back to her house. So we were wandering around Ikebukuro for about an hour looking for a taxi, dragging our luggage. We both had really heavy luggage from the party and we wandered into the red light district of Ikebukuro. It's not like officially called that or anything because like it's not known as that, but you'll see lots of like suspicious shops and suspicious people in that area. So you kind of know what's going on. And just walking down the street looking for a taxi, I swear at least four groups of men talked to us. And the first guy was like, hotel? Are you going to a hotel? And Brian was just like, no. And we kept walking and he's like, get a drink, drink with me. Anyways, we just ignored him and kept walking. And then like 45 seconds later, this other group of guys talked to us. It was just so sketchy. <laughs> we made it through the crowd of men trying to bring us into like hotels and bars and clubs with them and we finally caught a taxi because Bronwyn like ran down the street to catch it before the man in front of us that was looking for a taxi got it and then we made it home but by the time we got home it was like past 2 a.m and then I edited that vlog and yeah it was yeah we were so tired anyways so that's why today's video is so relaxed I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed watching it anyways tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet it's my first day like first full day back at home with keyboards on so we'll probably do something together but um yeah i guess i'll see you tomorrow and we will figure out what to do so remember to leave a comment if you want to enter the holiday giveaway that i'm doing i'm going to choose seven videos and choose one comment from each of those vlogmas videos and i'm going to send a package to the winner of just random things that i picked up from around japan that i think you guys will like so yeah leave a comment on this video so that you'll have one more entry into the giveaway and I will see you guys tomorrow. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you soon. Bye.